Hello there, this is Ron Wills coming back at you with yet another car video. Mentally select. Now y'all know I be talking select, not select, and you know my main video today was being physically select, but mentally non-select. And uh, it's one of the rare times I did something that was requested by someone, but this person who requested it, they're on my Patreon. If y'all really want me to go deep and a little more raw, definitely the Patreon. Definitely the Patreon. And that's also where mostly I, I do requests. But, you know, young brother always supported me. He had something. He, I just say, you know, that's so important. Let me put it on here. Uh, my main one. And you know what? I want to delve further into it because I'm going to tell you what. There's a lot of guys out there, if you just on a physical basis... Even uh, something according to those black pillars, they should be select. They got they got the height. They got a face that a lot of people uh, consider handsome. And shoot, and body games shoot. They could tell Rom some stuff about body games, right? They could tell Rom some stuff about body games, but you know what? Their mind ain't right. Their mind ain't right. See, here's what happens with a lot of dudes a lot of dudes are late bloomers or you know they just didn't have it especially when they went high school because i even said that i said only maybe 15 percent of men who would be seen as select was like that in high school it's very few dudes there's a few but most dudes actually had to grow into it you know what i mean most dudes got to grow into being select and good with women and really the overwhelming majority don't really reach it until their 30s. You know, if they're going to reach it at all. If they're going to reach it at all. And let me just put this out there. Usually I say a man got to about 35 to get really proficient with women. After that, it can go down here. Now, there might be some exceptions, but I haven't really seen a man reach a certain age. And once they reach a certain age, if they were bad with women, they pretty much stay that way. So... I hate to have to be the one to tell you, but yeah, 2022, rum is not going to spare feelings like he usually do. So anyway, right? So most men got to grow into it, but a lot of guys still got that mindset from when they were young. Let me go a little deep. Remember I talked about before the man's imprint, the man's imprint, right? See, our imprint, see a woman's imprint is the first two or three men she sleep, sleeps with who penetrates her sexually. That's her imprint. That's her imprint. You know? And actually, I gotta do some more study, actual study into if they imprinted, if they had a lesbian sex. I actually gotta study that. And just to be clear, anybody say, oh, this just made up, look up Dr. John Money and uh, term love maps. It's been studied. People know about it. But anyway, um, that's a woman's imprint. A man's imprint is a combination of how the divas in his environment when he was young treated him plus the first woman he actually slept with. So with men, it's mostly a mental thing. But see, many men were rejected by the divas when they were young. Many men. And when I say not even a sexual rejection... Like, all they needed was a girl to say hi to them. Like, a fine girl say hi to a dude, he just feel good. That's all we need, the ego. That's an ego imprint. But see, a lot of guys, they were rejected by the fine women when they were young. You know? They were rejected, you know? They were laughed at. But then, you know, they might have filled out, hit a growth spurt, you know, got more muscular. And then that's when they get those, hey, big head texts. <laughs> uh, that's another conversation. But they were rejected. That's why um, I've talked about that before. Like back in the day, they have those talk shows and they had somebody come on, some dude come on and he want to confront the women who rejected him when he was in high school. Seriously, that's why a lot of dudes, a lot of dudes remember that sixth grade rejection. That fucks with a dude's head. And see, the problem with it is he ain't feeling good, but he tend to go in a direction he tend to go in, the, in, a, in a direction where he gets continually rejected. He gets all bad. Nobody's there to say, hey, man, you know, you can get over it or help him or something. And then, unfortunately, a lot of guys ain't taught how to really interact with women. 
That's one thing I say I was blessed with. One thing I say I was blessed with. Hey, my ego imprint. <laughs> they were fine as shit. <laughs> oh, man. They were fine, so I wasn't as bothered by it. I was blessed. That. I'm going to say the word blessed because I didn't realize it wasn't like that for everybody else. But anyway, a lot of dudes, they were fucked up when they were young. Got played when they were young. A lot of stuff. And even when they improved, they haven't got over getting played. And in fact, let me go deep again. The only way they can really get over it is either that woman or someone similar to her would have to give him some pussy. That's the only way he would really even get over it. You know? That's, it's actually easier for a man's imprint to be over overridden than a woman's. Way easier. But a lot of times, sometimes when those guys, they get imprinted by that fine woman or something, and then they'll get plenty of women, but not that fine one. That's why you get a lot of dudes. They can get like, oh, they can tear up on the fives and fours and all of that. As soon as the nine come around, they they, they, they that skinny teenage kid again. You know? That's how deep that shit is. And that's the thing, that rejection. That rejection. Because honestly, every time it, we, every time a, like a young man get rejected, a lot of times he might not talk with anybody. He needs an elder to take him to the side and say, look, all right, yeah, she rejected you. But you got to just learn from that. Learn from the situation and everything. You know, you can't carry it with you. You know, but unfortunately, a lot of times they might not say it. And then sometimes, man, you know, you know, kids are cruel, man. You might get some young girl, I mean, just really terrible, cut into them and stuff. Now, you can't just give them a regular no. Like a regular no and, you know, something like that ain't bad, but you get some, they they want to run games on it. And then get mad when that, when that same young lady, uh, you know, don't look the same way when she older and that same guy wants to dog her out. In fact, I would say this. A lot of dudes, some dudes, they have that happen. They become dogs. They become straight up dogs. Like if a woman, if a woman, whenever women ask me why a man become a dog, I say, well, check out how the women dealt with him when he was young. Shoot. Check, check that out. That tells you everything right there. But here's the thing, though, with the whole thing. A lot of guys, they really got to, it's, it's up here. You got to work with them. See, the thing is, a man, whatever the case, and even if he wasn't rejected or didn't have a negative imprint, ego imprint, he still got a real, he still got to feel good about himself. You know, he got to feel good about it. He got to have that confidence. Like, people think that's a cliche word, but really confidence is just belief in yourself. You got to have it in your mind. Your whole mindset got to be like, I'm the shit. Even if you, you know what? You might not be to everybody outside world, but shit, you guys got to love yourself, you know? And I'm going to tell you what, how deep that is, if you love yourself, the rest of you will follow. Seriously. If a man start thinking as a select, start thinking as a select man, he's going to subtly change up. His subconscious is going to say, oh, you, oh, okay, you the man, okay, we're going to start changing up some shit. You know, he's going to start hitting the gym and everything. He's going to start dressing better. He's going to, his subconscious is going to make him consciously behave like a select man. But it got started in the mind. And I'm going to tell you what, just a lot of stuff. Like, you know, everybody talking about these incels and stuff. And, you know, these incel guys always like measuring their faces, everybody else's faces. But if you get some women, they'll look at a lot of these guys and say, they don't look that bad. But it's up here is up here and you know the main thing i'm gonna tell you what the whole thing comes down to just rejection rejection is a part of life rejection is a part of god's protection a rejection is a lesson because every single time i've gotten rejected in life i said all right why i get rejected and and i'm gonna I'm make it to the point i can't be rejected you know seriously I mean, I laughed at the rejections I had. I ain't never feel bad off of someone saying they weren't interested. Never. Only way I could get feel bad if I was actually in a relationship with the woman. Now, I ain't going to say the shit been perfect there. But never off of this. Somebody I just laugh about. I say, oh, okay, never mind. All right. But then I figure out if she was fine or something, I'd say, okay, what I do wrong? 
figure it out, change up. Okay. Yeah, I might be running in here doing some stuff. Seriously, but that's how you gotta roll with it, man. A lot of guys gotta get their heads right first. You know? Get their heads right. One of the things is don't get mad at the women though. If a woman rejects you, you don't know why she rejects you. You don't know why. She could have some shit going. She could have a thousand and one things going on. You know? Don't worry about it. Just try to figure out what it is in you. Because you can control 100% of what's in you. You can control it. You can't control her. Because you don't know. You might have just caught her on a bad day. Because it, seriously, that's the case. Because there's been times. There's been numerous times. I lost track. I catch a woman one time. It might be in a social circle. She ain't friendly at all. A few weeks later, she's like a chatty booba lad. He just getting on. She's just talking me to death. So I figured, you know what? All right. And then if, if that didn't happen, I would just say, okay. Seriously. Seriously. You, can, you can't worry about it. That's why, you know, and I've talked about having an abundance mindset. There's uh, like 4 billion women in this world. Well, nearly four billion, because I know sometimes you get somebody technical. Is that quite four billion? You know what the fuck I mean. Stop being smart ass. Look, there's always somebody. If you got an abundance mindset, create a pool of women, shit, there's always going to be somebody. It's like my boy told me at a club, man. He said, don't be focused on that one girl who rejected you, like didn't want to dance with you. Three other ones checking you out. <laughs> so you got to think like that. Some women say, damn, you know what? He fine. I don't know what's wrong with her. I learned to like pay attention, but that's just you don't worry about it. Whatever the case, learn from the rejection. Don't don't let it hurt you, because then I'm gonna tell you what. Let's put it like this, because a lot of dudes be getting mad at women. If a woman reject you, look at it as her loss and keep it moving. Seriously, look at it as her loss and keep it moving. You gotta think you the shit. You gotta think okay, she missed out on something. And it's a lot of women do that. But you can't be getting mad at her. See, get out yeah, get out that uh, entitlement thing and shit, too. Nobody's obligated to like you. In fact, that's something else, too, I need to talk about. I was going to talk about tomorrow, but I'm in a flow right now. It ain't like I got a job. <laughs> but seriously, man, yeah, look, man, somebody don't like you. Nobody had to like you. Don't force somebody to like you. You know, if they don't like you, they don't like you. All they, all they had to do is stay the fuck out your way. I remember I had a woman tell me one time, she said, I don't like you. I was like, okay, that means you see me coming. You need to move away out of my path. And don't get in my way for something or you'll see another side of me. And I said it just like that. And if I see you coming, I'll move too. You know, I'll make it easy for you. And shoot, mess with her head or something. <laughs> But no, you can't worry about it. That's all you can say. All you can say is somebody don't like you. Tell them to stay out your face. And you know, if a woman don't want you, and look at it like this on a practical level. If a woman don't really like you, what, what good is it? The pussy ain't going to be any good. Because she got to like you to really want to have sex with you at least. She don't have to love you or something, but she do got to like you something. She got to be cool with you something need made for it to be cool. She ought to be in love with you. Could just be just a quick hit it and uh, hit it and quit it thing on her part. She just wants some D right there. She still got to have, you know, cool with you. If she don't like you, what good is it? Shit, women got to cooperate. So don't worry about it. If she rejects you, don't worry about it, you know? And even if they try to come all brutal and shit, sometimes you might have to say, well, hold up, hold up, honey. Hold up. Somebody thought you were attractive enough to say hi. You going to be like that? Because let's, come on now, let's be real. Let's be real. How many other guys hit me on you like that? You know, just fuck with their head. If they, if, but most women, if they if they reject you, they just be like, no, thank you. Or something, just be like, okay. Have a good day. Because then you do it like that, like you ain't pressed, then they'll start thinking, oh, wait a minute. But even then, it ain't worth it. You know, don't worry about it. Focus on the women who feeling you, you know? But you can't worry about it. The reality is, you ain't going to just get rejected in life for just uh, just women. Shoot, you might try out for a ball team. You're going to get rejected. You play in basketball or something, you put up a shot, somebody going to reject it. 
what are you going to do? Just cry about it or just take another shot? You know? Many of us have been, uh, most of us, you know, we've been on some jobs and stuff. You know, shit, been fired one or two times or laid off one or two times or just didn't even get the job. Okay, you get another one. You can't let that shit stop you. That's a part of life. But just rejection, period. Let Learn from it. Just learn from it. Don't let that shit fuck with your head, man. You know? It's sports and stuff, people. <laughs> they get in quarterbacks. Tom Brady. He get intercepted. He lost some Super Bowls, but he's won more Super Bowls. Because <laughs> once you learn how to deal with that rejection, shit. You can, um... Shit, you can learn how to win. Because like I said, just figure out... Just make it so they can't reject you. No one, shoot. You going for a job, going just in life. You going for a job and you keep having issues. Well, okay, change your shit up. Develop some skills. Get certified. Get educated. And make it so they can't reject you. You know, shopping up in your interview skills and everything. Whatever you got to do. You know? If your ass getting your ass whipped out here, like physically fighting or something, all right. Shit, go to a boxing gym. Take a martial art or something. Do something. Shit. You gotta, you gotta have that mindset. Like, fuck rejection. It's part of life. Learn from it, and then get yourself to the point you can't be rejected easily. It's just that simple, y'all. All right. And I know I start off talking about mentally, so like, but you know how, you know, car wrong. You know, it just got to go for, uh, go with the flow. And I think somebody needed to hear that message, because I see that with a lot of guys. A lot of guys, they got. They talk about one woman reject him, called him ugly or something, and they like, that's, okay. Shit. Everybody been called ugly. Everybody been, re everybody been rejected. Everybody. Yeah, I'm going to be street about it. E everybody, though. Let me, let me, for all those proper, like, square dudes, everybody has been rejected. You know? You can't lose sleep over it. It's life. It's life. So... Anyway, that's all I got for today, y'all. I'm going to get back with y'all later. Peace and blessings.